Hello everybody. Um, I'm going to show you a new feature, well, new to me, in um, Microsoft Word. This is in Office 2021, which came out today, 21st of October to 2021. And it's also in version uh, Microsoft 365. So you just come up here where it says View, and there is an option here called Immersive Reader, which you click on it, will offer you several things. Uh, hang on, did I click on it? I'll try again. Now, if you notice this uh, text has a certain width, I can alter the width so it becomes much more narrow or now I'm starting to go out and it can become wide. Now why is that useful? I'll just take it to somewhere in the middle. You can also change the colour of the background, should you wish. But what I'm really interested in, and I think uh, translators and reviewers, especially reviewers, revisers, will be very interested in this. You can do a line focus. So I'm going to choose three lines. Now it highlights three lines. I can go up to the top of the text if I want to start from the top. It highlights three lines, which I can read. And then if I click here, I just go down to the next three lines. So it focuses my attention just on three lines. If I want to change something, I just change as I normally would. So this is a very useful way of concentrating on a particular part of the text. It also offers, it also offers one line at a time. And it will even offer up to five lines. And as we said before, we can make the size of the lines varied so you can uh, really focus on what you wish to focus on and find a setting that's uh, right for you. You can even make the uh, distance between the lines, uh, you can make it much more. I personally don't like that font, but some people may. And of course there is the other option that's been there for a while, which is read aloud. Europe. There was a sharp decline in urban life during the Dark Ages following the fall of Rome. Germanic tribes, that the Romans referred to as barbarians, controlled the territory between the 5th and 8th. Yeah, I was just curious to see if it would automatically go to the next block, but it didn't. Okay, when you finish with this, you just click on Close Immersive Reader, and you get your text back how it was. So once again, you go to View, and select Immersive Reader, and then you have the settings I, I showed you. Thank you very much for your attention.